had to switch to manual rowing power now because we're in the middle of the midst of the weeds. I got somebody with me today. Check it out. It's a catter. We're uh, we're both pumped up. We're a little late to the lake later than we wanted to be, but we're still here pretty early. It's about six o'clock, and uh, we are at the uh, the bigger bass lake, where uh, you don't catch that many, but the ones you get are usually pretty good and good. So we are just excited to fish. We we're running light, very light, just soft plastics only. There's a lot of weeds here, but there's also nice big fish in here. So. We are pumped up to catch some bass. It's end of July. I'm not gonna over talk it, as my man AB says. Look at that sun rise over there, it's beautiful. Uh, but we are psyched. Catter, any opening words before the first fish goes in, first cast goes in, and I am getting the net ready. We are not jacking around. This is definitely a net ready type of place. This is a net ready type of net place. Ready type of lake. It's nice to be back. We haven't been here in a while, or I haven't been here in a while. I should correct that. It will make a difference, and we're not even messing around today. We're putting the net up in the up in one of the pole holder positions. That has a pole holder spot. So it's this is a non non screwing around day. Got a new microphone today, so hopefully my audio will be good. I predict we're going to catch some fish, and I feel good about it. Catter, let's catch some bass on fishingwithvance.com. Audio off. Fish is on. He's not a monster. You don't have to net him. I, oh, okay. I'm gonna go right against what it, what I said right from jump. He's not a monster. But what's crazy? What's crazy is all the little guys in here are still awesome fish. Oh, yeah. That didn't take long. We're gonna have a lot of weeds, but we're also gonna catch some nice chubby fish today. This guy's small for this lake, but I will take it. Look how nice he is. He's a little guy. But he liked him some Sanko. Oh, trying a new audio today. And, uh. Nice hook set, obviously. Oh, yeah. I, I came with a little heavier, little heavier rods. I do have one. <laughs> that fluke is going to be deadly right here, this guy. And, uh, that's going to be deadly. It's on a little lighter tackle, but. We're here to get a little bigger ones, but this is a nice quality little bass. Got him on the Sanko today. No weight, guys. No weight. Those of you who follow the channel know I'm big on the penny nail. No penny nail today. We wanted to just look at those weeds in the water. We just want that to fall down over those weeds and then first fish is in the boat. All right, guys. I think I'm going to have to switch it up because there's so many weeds as you can see in the water. And I'm going to go with the good old-fashioned KVD. The blue fleck. This is the bigger, bigger worm, the six and a half inch pop. We got no splitties on here today because I want this to just flutter over top of these weeds and just be like enticing as hell to these big, big boys in here. Catter is now on a, he has a hoochie coochie on. Um, he does have split chuck because I think it was left over from a different setup of mine. So he will have to, uh, He's gonna have to battle. That's a not a heavy, a very big stick. Hopefully he catches a big fish, and we have to. And that's a good problem to have. But he's got the hoochie coochie. Show show the viewers what he's got. Oh yeah, look at that hooch. It's ready. Oh, Amazing. she's she's ready to go. Oh yeah, she's she's ready to go. I, I like the, I like the choice. So one fish so far. Not going to be big numbers today, but it is going to be fun no matter what because I'm fishing with Catter today. Catter, all of a sudden, we're going to have a lot of availability on the weekends. Much more availability. Yeah, that's going to be kind of nice. Yeah, so it's going to be real nice. So we're, we're going to be nice to get the opportunity for more fishing, more fun, more laughs. And... Uh, no doubt. We are chomping at the bit to get back in the river. That's something we want to get back to. Um, Stay tuned for my brand new, uh, for my review on my new Cabela's Edition Frog Dogs. Yeah, new, new waders for Catter. Uh, he's tired of wearing you know, the old man's hand-me-downs. And um, I'm going to actually take those back because um, 
I'm sort of reducing in size or trying to anyway. So I'm going to take those puppies back because mine are, mine are sort of long in the tooth. But uh, Catter's going to break out his brand new ones. They're neoprene variety, right? So, but we're, we're, we can't wait to get back in the river, do some smallmouth fishing. We're heading into that really good prime time in August and September. And so definitely stay tuned for that. Cutter, I'm going to move us because uh, I want to get back to a little a slightly deeper water. And we will, we will fish this whole pond slash swamp probably like six times. <laughs> All right, I'll come back to you once we hook a fish. I'm pretty confident, which is usually a kiss of death, but. Well, guys, no fish. Just one that one little fish. And uh, I've had to switch to manual rowing power now because we're in the middle of the midst of the weeds. Too bad I don't have uh, realistic fishing here with me. Show me how to Texas rig and punch down through this crap. Who knows? Maybe we'll get them up here to PA. But right now, we're rowing rowing around looking for pockets and, uh, there's so many weeds is actually keeping the pelican from moving <laughs> even the even the pelicans bogged down that's okay it's an adventure my man catter's probably like my day off and this is what I'm doing look at the look how many there are yeah, it's... right there where you're at. Oh yeah, we're we're bogged down. We got to find some pockets. Maybe over there. Yeah, I think. Oh, you got him? Yeah, he's still on there. I'm sorry, I thought he came off. Mine was. Uh... I I thought we had a double. Then I thought he'd come off. Uh -huh. He might come off because he he took me down in the weed. I don't think I even hooked that good. I don't know how big he is. Uh -huh. Oh, he's little. You don't have to anymore, guys. I'm sorry. He just felt heavy because of the weed. Yeah, that's fine. Got him in here. Let's get him. Let's see him because uh, that's bass number two. I'm wheeling all over the place. Cat is off the snag. Oh, that's a nice little chubby boy. Yeah. Real nice. Well, Absolutely. Well done, get buddy. Get the purple worm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, he felt bigger because he had weeds on him, but that's okay. Yeah. Take it. Good hook set, though. He wasn't coming off. Yeah. It's real nice. Good job. I talked about how all the big fish in here so far has been nothing but little guys. Catter here with bass number three, but at least we caught he caught one, and uh, we'll take it. But uh, bass number three, let's see the little guy. Oh boy, that's like we're back at Bragg. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, we'll take I saw him running with your line though. That's right. So we'll take it. All right, let's keep it pushing. Fishingwithvance.com. Trying to put on the purple worm, and I am getting hits. I am getting action on the purple worm. Small fish, but I am getting hits too. So sooner or later, it's going to be a big one. That's right. We'll see. Vance, and I think I got him. I, we, we were struggling to catch fish. It's, it's such a oh, and he come off right there. Did you see him? He come off right there. Damn. Damn. Oh. Fishingwithvance.com. I may have a fish. Yep. Holy f Reeling in. It's a nice fish too. Thanks. I got that all on tape too. <laughs> Perfect. Um, no, that wasn't reeled in yet. Uh, Fishingwithvance.com. This is what we came for in this area, in this place. I finally got him. That's a big boy there. That is a nice bass. Oh man, I love it. Is my camera running? So hopefully the audio is working for this. This place holds these fish, and uh, they're tougher to get in here, but the ones you do get is what we came for. That's this beautiful. guy right here. So I, I, uh, he made it worth the trip. He did. That's beautiful right and, there. And uh, he was in this area that we tried before, so we'll keep trying. I got him on the KVD. Of course I did. The OG, although this is the, the bigger worm, 6.5 blue fleck. So I'm going to get this girl back, but I will get my boy to take my picture with her and uh, we'll go from there. But let me shut my camera off. 
a perfect hook set. That's a nice fish. Thank you. There's one Vance. Another one on here. I don't know how big he is, but he's big enough to get get the net. Long arm oh. of the law got him that time. Wow, he is big enough to get the net. Nicely done. That's what we're here for, kids. Now that time I was ready. Now that time. And that time we netted him pretty, pretty huh? nice. Vance is on the big boys now. On the edge of edge of the weed it's line. Where you just said to throw. Yeah. Edge of the weed line. This guy's gonna be photo worthy as well. Now this guy, guys, wow, I got nice. him with the magic crawler. It's a little slightly different color. But that is a nice, nice fish. Oh, she's bleeding, so we'll get a quick picture and get her back. Let me shut the camera off and then I want to uh You still want me to take it? It's in her tongue. Yeah, I'll I'll get her out. But let me shut my camera off and we'll get her back. But uh she it's just hooked in her tongue. I'll get it. she'll be fine. That is a nice fish. That's definitely over two and a half pounds. Very nice. Very nice fish. Um I'm excited. That's two good ones. We'll take a picture of her, but let me let me get her fixed up. All right, fishing with ants. It's been slow um, because um, I don't know why. We're just starting to figure them out a little bit. We're pitching on the backs of these edges of these weeds. The weeds are super heavy, as you can see. But uh, those two that I just caught, very fun, obviously. Um, probably the first one was probably about two and a half pounds. That one was bigger. He was pushing three, maybe two and three quarter pound. But uh, got him on the KVD. It's the perfect plastic, and this is the what's called the magic crawler. Uh, I don't know why I didn't throw purple back on. I don't know. I just wanted to get a little bit of brown, green, and blue in there, and uh, just to see if that would uh, work, and it did. So we're gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna keep pitching right to the edge of these weeds and just let that fall down in there, and uh, hopefully get a few more. I'd like to get Catter to get one of those big pups. He caught more fish than I did so far. His were the now. smaller variety we both have three each but I've got the two big ones so far so I think we'll hook another one right now he had to re-rig because he had to throw his pole down and net my fish because he got yelled at for not netting fast enough on the one before but <laughs> definitely redeemed yourself on that he one. redeemed himself on that one but uh this is a good time absolutely we're gonna keep fishing fishingwithvance.com yes sir Sucks, I caught him. Oh. Wow, another big one, too. Of course. Holy shit. <laughs> Fishing with Vance. This is my I third. They were done hitting because of the sun. Third horse. Come on, baby. <laughs> he didn't well, look I, as big to me in the water, but he is, actually. Oh, that magic crawler, boy. It's, it did work today, Catter. It did work. Look at that magic crawler. Nice. Right over there, as soon as it fluttered down, he smashed it. Just missed, like he's supposed to. I missed mine, I guess. I don't know what happened. There she is. Nice. She's on the magic crawler, guys. That's my third bass like that. She's over. She's about two pounds. She's one of the smaller ones, but uh, man, she was nice. That's a nice bass, though. Very nice fish. Oh, man. Nice. Fun stuff. Fishing with Van. I'm glad I changed my battery. See you, girl. A healthy two-pounder. Yeah, let me let her go gentle. See you, baby. Fishingwithvance.com. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully the audio worked out better. Uh, I got a new microphone, so. Um, ended up catching, I don't know, I think about seven bass. Uh, this place is tougher to get them just because there's, there's uh, you're not going to get the big numbers in here, but uh, as you saw in the video, you know, the quality is better. Now, unfortunately, Catter has still ended up not getting any of the bigger guys. He missed a few fish, but uh, I was able to land three really nice ones, over two pounds. I think one was almost pushing three pounds. So it was a good trip. Um, had a blast. Always good when Catter's here with me. So Catter, thanks for coming today. We had a nice time. It was a great time. It's a beautiful day. We're going to get out of here, though. It's a little process to get out, but we'll get out of here. I got my boy with me. He does all the work, so I'm spoiled. But I'm going to get this video out. Stay tuned. Uh, the next video that will be coming after this one, 
Uh, we're going on the old family vacation, and me and the cat, are, we got uh, we, we got the uh, fishing trip booked this time. So we're looking forward to that. You know, we got a guided tour, and we're going to go out and try to catch, I think, flounder and drum. And uh, I'm going to video that. So stay tuned for a, that. You guys are going to see a sliver of the Cape Fear River Basin. It should be good. Featured on Fishing with Vance. That's should, right. Should in fact be good down it, in the Wilmington, North Carolina area. Should be. Should be great. We'll come to you with some of that footage, and hopefully, it, hopefully we get something to show you, and it'll be good if we do. Yeah. If we catch any flounder, we're keeping them. I'm I'm not a I'm a catch and release kind of fisherman for virtually everything, um, except for maybe stock trout or something like that. But I release everything. But if we catch any flounder out of the ocean that day they're going to be coming home and we're going to cook them so if we do you'll see that too but either way we'll we'll share the trip with you guys and uh it'll be a good time so stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed please subscribe videos are becoming fast and furious as we head into the fall months um we will be hitting we're watching for the river level to fall and we will be getting after some serious smallmouth action like we mentioned earlier and uh It'll be smallies, catfish, carp, and we'll be back here too as, as the water cools down a little bit and our other new fishing spot. So looking forward to it. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to get out of here, and I'll see you next time on the water on fishingwithvance.com. Burn out. <laughs>